It's almost time to play ball at Port Arthur Stadium with the Thunder Bay Bordercast. Here's an overview of what's coming up on the season with manager J.M. Kelly. So how does it feel to be back at Thunder Bay? I'm excited. Um, last year was the first year I've ever not won. Um, okay. And so I really wanted to, um, you know, that that's the one thing in my life, like, you know, you want the kids to be successful, you want everybody to grow and be the best that they can be, but the one thing that I really um, had that was bothering me is the fact that we walked away last year and we didn't win. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a really good run in the first half, and uh, we want to be able to uh, replicate that again this year, but mm -hmm. for the entire year. So good. that's uh, I'm really excited. You know, I could do without the cold weather, um, but it's certainly nicer than, than where I'm from because uh, I know right now it's it's in the mid 90s probably. So okay. this is better than that. Be melting the paint off the bats. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and and that's another thing. Kind of wanted to get to is. You know, we didn't, we didn't score last year. Uh, mm -hmm. We had a really good pitching staff, and we just didn't score a lot of runs. But I think we're going to be a lot better offensively this year. And we've got a lot of the same arms back. So, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Beard and Bunch aren't on the roster right now, but I think those are guys that have reached out at the end of their season that are wanting to try to come up and, and get some innings. So, you know, I think we're going to be able to add a few more of those guys and really bolster the pitching staff to be what it was last year, but, but still be able to score runs offensively. So. You've got a lot of Canadians on the roster this year. Yeah, um, you know, I think I think last year, uh, with it being the first year back, we really had to do everything that we could to get a roster put together to, to win. Um, and then now that we've we've been up here, I've got to build the relationship with the uh, Canadian national team uh, and some more of those guys in the Toronto area. It's really helped us to be able to add Canadian guys to the roster. Uh, Thunder Bay needs Canadian guys on the roster. That's that's what this, that, that's, there's a lot of pride in it for oh, these guys. Sure. Um, but we didn't just add any Canadian guy. Like we added really, really good players, you know, some junior national team guys. Um, you know, obviously getting Pino back is huge, and that's a big, big story. Um, I'll tell you guys, uh, Gary, you're one of my favorite people, not just up here, but in general. Uh, and Jack Pino is going to throw opening night. He's going to start opening yeah. night for us. Um, you know, he, I wanted to start in game one. I said, you know what? Like, no, nah, we'll wait. We'll, we'll throw you for the home opener. So uh, uh, it's it's exciting to have the Canadian guys we have because, again, it's, it's a pride thing for them. They want to represent their country. Um, and this is a way to do that, uh, really really still on a national level, an international level. You know what I've always thought is that, I don't know, somewhat like Christmas Day, the beginning of a year. What's your thoughts on the uh, excitement that you must feel inside? No, you're exactly right. Now the difference is like, <clears throat> I've coached all year, these guys have played all year. So for us, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I know, but certainly for the community up here, like I know for them, it's it's a big deal. And I think these guys sense that as well. I think mm -hmm. they know that this is uh, something that the, the community has been looking forward to uh, since we walked away last summer. So, you know, I think these guys are excited. It's a new team. You know, it's it's uh, these guys have played all year long, but they've played with their teams. Yeah. And now they get to kind of come together on this, you know, so-called all-star team and, um, you know, test out their ability with each other. Um, so we got a lot of really good, really good stars around here. And, uh, you know, we're going to figure out how quick they can play together and how well mm -hmm. they play together. So so you're not only going to have fireworks opening night, but we're going to have a pitcher ready to throw fire. No, yeah, I know. Uh, the first thing he said was, Coach, you know, I can't wait to break in the new the new radar gun on the scoreboard. So okay, um, right he's on. excited. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's something excited. we were just talking about. Yeah. Is, is there going to be a radar gun this year? Yeah, yeah, there'll be one up there. As far as I know, we had it at the end of the year last year. Um, so we've, we've got uh, – Jack Pino is not even our hardest thrower. Uh, we've got – um, Tanner Vaughn been up to 97, uh, Ty Riley 92, 95. Um, so we've got some guys that can run it up a little bit. Um, and then even the guys, uh, Hepner, you know, 88 to 92. So we've got some guys down there that can let it go. Sugimoto uh, from Yavapai going to Arizona. Uh, he's up to 96. So, okay. you know, we're going <laughs> to have some pretty good arms this year, I think. So it's, it's going to be exciting. I think the fans are going to have a good time this year. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thunder Bay Border Cats season tickets are now on sale. The box office is open. People are even on today lining up. Net News Ledger will be bringing you as much of the action as we can through the course of the Border Cats season. So stay tuned. If you like this video, subscribe. 
and like our channel.